Hi everybody, welcome back. Today is day 35 already of iCAD 2021. I'm using the end of my Deco Art Citrus Green Paint. I really like this color. I think I have another bottle, but I found this one that was not quite done. And I'm putting it on a plain card. There is no gesso on it. It's raw it's a raw card and i'm using my uh, sponge my makeup sponge to apply the paint and what i just added there was cool blue also by deco art i'm just rubbing off some old rubbery paint that came out and once again i do not know what i'm doing with the card it took me a while. I sat at the desk and I was looking around and I just didn't know what to do. And then eventually, as I usually say, Gina, just start. Because that's, you know, once I start something, another idea would come. Oh, okay, I could do this. And okay, I could do that. So this color that I just put down, I believe it's acrylic. It's by acrylic. And this one is called Turquoise Profonde. All these fancy names. So I looked around at my desk and I found the doily, piece of a doily that I had cut from the heart that I did before. And I thought, what an amazing pattern that was. So I decided to use it as a stencil. And when I pulled it off, oh my gosh. I, oh my gosh. It's breathtaking. So I put three um, patterns on and now I'm uh, painting my edges and halfway through I decided not to do the entire card. So I just did certain parts of the edges, not all of it. Because I mean, why do you always have to do all right? Why not be different? So again, I looked around my desk and I saw my glitter actually no it fell <laughs> it fell off the desk when i was doing my stenciling and then i was like oh my gosh how amazing would that look so i picked it up and i decided to try and fit back where fit the pattern back the way i put it and now i'm gonna put the glitter Ta -da -ta -da! i know it's a lot but I want to scream oh my gosh I'm so excited like if y'all can see my face <laughs> okay oh I am so happy this made me so happy so now I'm gonna fit all back on and try and get the glitter over all of them oh my gosh so the before I did the glitter my plan was to draw a little plant and while I was doing the glitter, I'm thinking, I shouldn't do the glitter because I still have to do the plant. Can I draw the plant through the glitter? Should I? And I couldn't stop. I was just like, this glitter looks amazing. So I continued. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? We'll try it. We'll see how it goes. I just, oh my gosh, this is, and actually when I was done here, I wanted to stop. I did because you know I didn't want to spoil it by trying something you know it came out so good I really oh my gosh if I could have kissed it without having glitter come on my lips I would have kissed it <laughs> I know that's so ridiculous but yeah oh my goodness it's so pretty Right, so I put that off to the side and pack away my extra glitter. I got this glitter. It doesn't have a name. It was $10 for the bottle. I don't even know how much in it. And I got it in Sharon's. Uh, that's a bookstore we have in Trinidad. And it's lasted me quite a while. Mm -hmm. So I dried it because I didn't want the glitter to just be wet and falling off all over the place and then I decided why not still use the doilies 
and I thought about leaving it white, you know, to give it a nice contrast. So I'm trying to figure out where to put it and how to do it. Should I cut it here? Nope. So now I'm just trying to fiddle around and trying to place it different parts on the card. And I found this looked really good. And I tried to take a snap in my brain and I moved them. So now I decided not to leave it white, I'll add some color. Just some touches of the same family. So I did this first one and I ended up covering most of it, if not all of it, with the color. And then after I did it, I was thinking I should have left at least some little spots of white, you know, for a nice little highlight. So I left the, some little spots on the others instead. So that's okay. And I added in that darker blue so it would actually have more of a contrast. And it wouldn't blend in too much. Because I wanted the similar, same-ish colors. But knowing that it was would, would be a little raised and it has a pattern, I knew that it would still add and it wouldn't blend in too much. You know what I mean? So now, apparently the picture I took in my brain wasn't saved. I didn't press the save button. So now I'm trying to figure out where I had it. So I know the one on the left was where it was. And I know that one that I'm putting below was really supposed to be on top. Those two I knew. See, I knew that was supposed to be there. But then the this big piece I just I can I don't know why <sighs> so I just spent a lot of time trying to figure out where to put these back time for the plant and here I'm really hesitating because I really don't know if I should do it so I decided to do it but I'm doing it in pencil because I'm still not sure and then here I hesitate again because I'm I was actually considering changing the kind of plant that I was going to draw and then I decide to go ahead with my original plan so I'm going to do it in pencil first and then I'm going to use paint to painted <laughs> yeah
and now to put my pieces back and while I'm fiddling around with this still trying to figure out where they went I almost had it there didn't I huh. yeah when I was trying to figure out where they went I was also trying to decide if I should actually put them down because I didn't want to cover the plant and because I put the plant I was wondering if I should just leave it without the pieces of doily you know but I decided to just go brave and kind of halfway cover it up and put the doily down so that's what I did and I put the, that piece in the wrong place I just realized that oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh wow I just shifted everything around wow that is amazing I only just noticed that wow huh. that is very interesting I guess it was meant to be this way what are you gonna do huh that's interesting So I'm just going to spend some time cleaning up as usual putting my excess paint on a card which I will hopefully use I will definitely use at another time and then that gave me some time to look away from the card and see if I actually like it and if I want to add or you know do any make any adjustments I decided to leave it and my words for today is set your own pattern I thought it was fitting because of how much pattern is happening on this card and it's basically for me it said to me follow your own path God has a plan for each and every one of us and it is different for every single one of us there are so many of us on this earth and God has a specific plan and purpose for each of us so we have to mind our own business and focus on what God wants for us and follow our own pattern. You know what I mean? We just need to mind our business and do what we're supposed to do. Go along the path we're supposed to go along. Other people's path is not our own. So that's it thank you so much for watching i appreciate your comments and i look forward to more of them i'll see you tomorrow for day 36 bye bye